All right, as always, we'll start from the bottom case and carefully remove all the necessary screws. Be sure to detach the bottom case from the internal side, not to external side, to avoid damaging the internal clips. Next, we'll disconnect the power cable and remove the screws securing the battery. Once the battery is out, make sure to detach the speaker cables as well. You can find the battery part number located on the top left corner. Now let's pull the speakers out. Here's the CMOS battery and the memory RAM. Removal of SSD is pretty straightforward. You just need to pull one screw. And here is SSD. Now to remove the heatsink, you'll need to switch to T8B. Before doing so, make sure no cables are connected to the cooling fans and the fans are fully disconnected from the motherboard. If you're replacing or even just cleaning the heatsink and cooling fans, it's very important to reapply thermal paste and thermal pads properly. Now, let's detach the remaining cables connected to the motherboard and begin the motherboard removal process. It's pretty straightforward. And some more screws, a few screws more, and a little bit more. And here it is. Once the motherboard is out, you'll see the Wi-Fi module, GPU, CPU, and the white sticker near memory RAM shows the actual replacement part. Here's the DC jack. And the last but not least, we'll separate the palm rest from the LCD screen. Here you can see all the screws mounts along with the power button on the top right corner. Finally, here is the LCD screen with all its connected cables, the video cable, Wi-Fi antennas, and the webcam cam. 